So everybody, hello, welcome. Thank you for coming. This is incredible. Holy crap. And a little um, crazy, but we love you all. Thank you so much for coming. Um, oh my God. Oh, no. oh my God. <laughs> she did. She did. She did. One of our fans knitted hats for us. Oh my God. Which one do you want? Do you want the gray one? I got that one. Uh, yeah, it matches my hair. This is good. I can't put it on over I the earphones. I'm not going to wreck it. Okay. Oh, I got it. That's good. Yeah, we, this is great. Oh my we God, were going to do you. a bit, and now the bit seems so cheap. <laughs> thank you. Yes, this is so I can't believe. It's so soft. This is just nuts. Oh my goodness. Okay, should we pretend like we're not totally freaked out about how many amazing people are here and, yes. and do a show? Okay. <laughs> so, okay, hold on, hold on. Collect yourself. <sighs> Wow, we got feedback and everything. I think that's because of my heart. That's my racing heart is causing that feedback. Okay, I'm shaking it off. Everything's fine. We're, this is totally normal. It's totally normal that all these mm-hmm. people are here to see the mm-hmm. show. Mm-hmm. All right, are you ready? Yeah, let's do it. So we got together and we're like, oh, let's make notes about all the shit from season three. And when I say shit, I'm not being charitable. And uh, we decided that costumes didn't really rate so much this season. We love Terry. She did a good job. And we were just trying, we didn't have enough to put them in our rankings. So don't be mad that we didn't talk about the costumes. Yeah, we basically decided that what we wanted to do instead right now is um, we're just going to each say out loud what the best costume of the year was because we think we each think there's only one truly great costume of the year we've been waiting since friday to find out if we agree and i think we have to because it's so obvious there's only one great costume of the year Mm -hmm. so we're gonna say the same thing okay are we saying it at the same time yeah would you need will you count us down will you give us one two three one two three gayless is naked body covered in blood I think you win. <laughs> that was a really good costume. I mean, the bat suit was cool, though. Yeah. She did wear it for what felt like 20 years. She did, on a boat. And then she tied it around her head that one yeah. time. <laughs> and then remember she made she pants out of it that one time. Remember that? And then it was a flotation device. Well, then she was on that raft, and she needed a sail, so yeah. she strung it up. <laughs> and then that? she needed to make a tent, and then it was a tent. Yeah. And then there were yeah. ants in her crotch. Yeah, there was okay. a regular fire crotch. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. And, and then, then um, what about the worst one? Yeah, we had the same thought. We both thought, no, there's obviously clearly one worst costume so we're gonna do the same experiment all right janine one two three jamie's, jamie's terrible, terrible wig <laughs> nailed it yes yes okay um see if everything goes this easily it's gonna be a great live show live here at we're doing it live, we're doing it live. live. we are exploring the science of beer live it's live <laughs> welcome well, to the nerd cast island podcast I'm Allison. I'm Julie. That's Janine. Hi. And these are the people who came here to see us yell, everybody. Yeah! I cannot believe somebody's here from Milwaukee. Three people are here from Milwaukee. Somebody's here from California. I just can't. I don't even know how. what the fuck that is. I'm pretty sure she's going to follow us home and I'll be dead in 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't murder me. Please don't murder us. Um, we've got people we don't know. Like, this is the uh, maybe the first time, second time, because last time was when we met um, Waffles and Waffles, Waffles and Team Waffles, waffles. <laughs> Team Waffles. But this MJP, is re- kind of weird. Um, we are. I love it. It's great. Are you kidding? I'm thrilled. I had a terrible week, and this is just amazing. This is way better than Star Wars. <laughs> I really like Star Wars. Don't get me wrong. That's not shade. I like Star Wars. It's always in jeopardy, Jan. It's fine. It's always, um, that's how I live. <laughs> that's just, I live life on the edge. Um, <laughs> this Star Wars is good. Star Wars is good. This is way better. Are you kidding? There's a hat. There's I a got beard. a hat. No. There's Somebody like, appears this. with a We've beard in their hand. We've seen the brewery kitties. We saw like them fight. times. We watched them scrap. Yeah. It was amazing. It's a great morning, you I guys. yelled, it's like Culloden in there, so I'm already <laughs> doing great, joke-wise. Like, this is going to be really special, I think. Uh, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit, like, off my game. So no, you're, you're not like, looking good and feeling gorgeous. Thank you. But I'm... Boner City! <laughs> Boner City! Okay. Okay. So... Get that in. Just a refresher. Um, well, okay, first of all, I suspect there's at least one person here who's never heard the show, maybe more than one. Raise your hand if you've never heard the show before. Okay, great. Oh, this is a Welcome. treat. We're filthy. <laughs> Apologies in advance. We are filthy. Just be ready. We um, are fi- filthy. Like, filthy. Penis. Filth, they are like, just like starting to filled with filth. Um, what we do at the end of every season of Outlander is we write up a bunch of categories and we put nominees in the categories and then because it's also good in theory that fate should decide we roll dice out of Julie's ball sack D&D dice bag uh, with blood red dice inside oh hold on let me let me scatter my seed <laughs> 
it should be said that when we came up with this idea originally, it was because everybody was so good that anybody could win, so that's fair. And uh, that's, I'll be honest, that's actually still true. There were a bunch of categories where we had so many options that we had to go to like five because we couldn't make decisions because why should we have to choose things? We lost our right to choose. <coughs> Not yet. <laughs> Not yet. Not yet. Ooh, coming in hot. Third girl. Coming in hot. Third girl. Good morning. Um, <laughs> so, uh, but this was the first season where we felt like, well, Mm. Some of this was really good. Some, Some of, of it, it was, was really good. good. It was great it was revisiting the first half of the season. Yes, it really. It really as was. I was writing this all down, I was really taken aback by how much of our good stuff was be- episode six and before. Well, and then there's a lot of win. And then it's just boat. <laughs> <laughs> doom boat, doom boat, doom boat, doom boat, doom boat, doom boat. Okay. Doom boat. Should we okay. start the category? Yes, we should. Doom so boat. the okay. first one, um, we decided that supporting actor was just not. It was too broad of a category, so we decided to refine it a little bit and call it one and done or hit it and quit it. <laughs> this is somebody who had one, maybe two episodes or like three, but they were mostly small parts. Yeah, they weren't in it a lot, but they made their presence felt in a small amount of time. So um, we'll go with nominee number one. Um, uh, she was uh, naked and covered in blood. That's Galus Duncan. Yes. Scotland, Scotland, Scotland. Scotland. Uh, number two she is so Isabel Dunsany, the sister who I thought was going to be boring wet blanket who ended up being righteously cool yeah righteously cool and that she actress, had that great scene tanya and reynolds scene, she was very good she, and she had that terrific morning drag we'll come back to the oh, morning yeah. drag the morning drag oh no because we're not doing costumes okay never mind we won't come back to the morning shout drag. out to the morning drag at hellwater yeah it was very good they're, they're morning fabulously they are bereft <laughs> can can i ask you to 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 mug for a bit i want to fix the mic <laughs> to mug <laughs> to, like, or whatever because i have to fix this real quick because um, it's recording badly sorry this is janine who's drunk still from last night <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, um, so no talking about ah, i just died and we're back <laughs> okay cool. okay good, good. <laughs> great um i have the m&m ready though that was dialed up <laughs> and then our next nominee in the hit it and quit it is joe abernathy who Will could Johnson. hit it and quit it i'm he not could. gonna lie he he's could. a really good please don't man. quit it though no please don't quit it and then we've got Doomface elias pound <laughs> Doomface pound guys. whose real name you guys is alby marber it's so perfect <laughs> he's just got that little Albie angel face marber he just i just want to hug him he was he's the lana del rey born to die <laughs> then we've got rupert mckenzie yeah played God. by Brandon work and he was only we in the one episode list, and was so awesome he was so great we got to um to old Doomface pound we're like this is a really great list and then maybe 10 minutes later we're like oh shit we forgot about i mean to set a quick piece and just like it's so perfect <laughs> all right you're oh. rolling okay I'm all right rolling. for Lottie Verbeek, a.k.a. Bloodbath. Okay. Um, that's an eight. No, that's, that's a, a six, six, six. six. That's a, yeah, with, we're going to add an extra she gets 660. Six, six, six. So yeah. she's 666. Six, six. Yeah. Okay. Isabel Dunsany. Uh, that's a four. four. Mm, seems right. Oh, that's not nice. I'm just saying. She was good, but she I mean. She was very good. Okay. I hated Joe that Abernathy. Episode. 25. 15. 15. Uh, you know what? Times a million. No, I'm good with 15. 15 okay. is good. If plus, we had called plus, her Lady J more, uh, I would have been fine. Would have been it. more excited. All right, good old Doomface Pound. Albie Marber. 15. Also 15. Ooh, a yeah. roll off. Okay, and Rubart. Grant O'Rourke. Maybe the only Ooh, person on this list to get a TGP. Is that accurate? I think that's yes. accurate. No, I'm sure Lottie Verbeek has gotten TGP before. Uh, well, we didn't do it until this season, and she didn't get one this season, did oh she? Oh, my God. Is yeah. that true? I don't know. 18. 18. You know what? I'm okay with that. Yeah, but is it 18 like plus infinity because he's in the afterlife now? Yes. Does he win? I think Rupert wins. Yeah. So Rupert wins. Yeah. Grant O'Rourke. Everybody approve of this? Yes. yes. Dissenters? I don't fucking care, but you could decide <laughs> if you wanted to. Okay. All right. So cool. Rupert McKenzie is our hit it and quit it. What of the we're going to do with these acting awards is we broke it down into th- four categories, basically. And at the end, we're going to roll between them to determine like the real TGP of the season. Mm-hmm. Dr. J, that's for you. TGP, the golden pamplemousse. Yeah. For the, that, that and, is. And the pamplemousse, I feel like we need to explain some of this. Is, never mind. Fuck you. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> 
<laughs> just, okay. Next is best scene or image. Oh man. Um, we're just a giant inside joke. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> no, well, unless you watch out. Well, maybe mm. no, you wouldn't Pamela get that. Pamela Moose is Murta. There we go. Because yep. it's Duncan Lacroix, and clearly the best Lacroix flavor is the pa- Pamela Moose, mm. right? But fuck that, Pamela Moose. <laughs> uh, so Duncan Lacroix is Murta. Murta is Pamela Moose. The golden Pamela Moose is the best because Murta's the best. Yes. Always and forever. All right. Best scene or image. <laughs> Are you happy, Janine? I am. Thanks. And I just love that. That's such a long description. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> Worth it. Okay. Uh, best scene or image. I had, uh, I fought for E.T. and Cho's monologue on the boat. That's so good. That's solid. With um, the paper. Yeah. He was so great. And I'm Gary so glad Young. he got that moment because he deserved it. Oh, yeah. Um, then we have, um, we've got Coinface and Jamie at Hellwater. That's Lord John Gray Are for those of you. Are you me your body? Like, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, it's really yeah, good. I didn't. Okay. Good old Coin. You will get, get used to hearing about David Barry. We're going to talk about him a lot. And then we have Claire and Roger, What Can I Do from Freedom and Whiskey. Oh, this was That's Allison's. when Claire is so mad that Roger has gone and found out that Jamie's still alive because now her life is fucked, right? Oh. And she's not getting fucked. So like, it's very frustrating. And, <laughs> And she's so mad. And he goes, what, what, what can I do? Tell me what I can do. And then everybody's heart just breaks two million tiny pieces. And then, and then Brianna comes back in and you're like, okay, it's fine. And then you see a turtleneck and you get very happy. <laughs> okay. Anyway. All right. And then, um, Jenny taking us to school at the end of episode two, <gasps> surrender when she says, I'll never forgive, I'll never you, forgive, forgive you. And she means it both ways. And it's, so good and Laura Donnelly um, deserves all the best in all the world yeah I mean she was great in literally everything she did in this and every season she's a perfect human but that was the best and then we have one more and that is the Pample Moose is alive Allison nailed it yeah. <laughs> when Marta was alive I mean don't get me wrong Duncan LaCroix again very good but that moment is not great because the moment is so good it's great because he's still fucking alive <laughs> like it's wonderful we get more oh for all I know he's just gonna be right till the end it's gonna be at the end of the se- the whole series and then the books are because they're gonna die at some point, right? No, it's gonna be, be him. Under, and it'll be Claire and Jamie dying side by side, and Myrtle will be sitting outside the door dying right alongside with them. No, it'll just end with him on a porch somewhere whittling something, and we'll realize that this all happened in his mind. <laughs> Great. I'm because that's how shows do he'll now. Be, All be, shows do that. He'll be carefully whittling a picture of the scene into a tusk bracelet. Or he's about to get to Aaron McCain. Scene. Or he'll shake a snow globe. Yeah. It's like that. Yeah. Oh, God. So, oh, I want to barf. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you have the dice. Yes, Here we I go. do. E.T. and Cho. E.T. and Cho. Seven. seven. Lucky number seven. I'm fine with that. He deserves mm-hmm. some more luck. Uh, 16 for, for Coinface coin and Jamie. 16. Oh, a roll off. For Claire and Roger. Roll off, roll off. Uh, Jenny taking us to school. 20, that one. is a critical, critical fail. Critical fail. That is a critical fail. Opposite day. It's opposite day. It's a natural 20. <laughs> and then uh, Murta being alive. 46,000. That's not true. It's five. <laughs> um, okay. So Do between, we want to roll off? Yeah, why not? Coinface okay. and Jamie. That's an 11. 11. 16. Roger, Roger 16. Wakefield. What can, what can I do? 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 You can keep acting that well, please. <laughs> can you please can still you be that good in every scene so it? I can just watch you and yeah. not Sophie Skelton? Speaking That'd be great. Speaking of great acting, we're on the next Best Supporting Performance category. First nominee, Sophie Skelton. That's not true. Oh, I'm con- <laughs> <laughs> I call this one Best Supporting Performance or Lift and Separate. Oh, boy. <laughs> We've got E.T. and Cho. Yeah, Gary of Young. He's done um, a great job. Oh, he was so good this season, and I'm glad that he's not, um, I mean, book spoilers in the books. He's running through the jungle with a bird. <laughs> like, that's that's E.T. and Cho's fate in the book. He's on the run as a murderer with his hunting pelican. That's real. Oh, yeah. Look at their faces. That. At people who've read the books. <laughs> they're all like, tell her. Tell her that's true. That's real? It's yeah, that's real. That's real. real. That's oh, real. goodness. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> next is Wean. We just love, by the way, I highly recommend following John Bell on Instagram because his little Instagram stories are all about how beautiful Edinburgh is. <laughs> It's so sweet. And I think he's got I, what I assume is a hot girlfriend. They went to Paris recently and it was Aww. all pictures of baked goods. He's Aww. adorable. All right. We <laughs> makes the cut. Yeah. Jenny from the Lally Brock. Always and forever. Gosh, makes she's the cut. So Thank you, Kevin. Um, daddy. That's what we refer to Ian. Ian yeah. is daddy. This is big Ian. Yeah. Like, daddy. Uh, like, we and like instead of we it's like we <laughs> he's killing it on twitter oh, he gets God, bonus I love twitter. i love his salty ass twitter <laughs> <life>. <laughs> he's like, um and then i have the fur guy both small and grown-ass man 
Yeah. <laughs> With Both their perfect faces and their great hair. And then I have the human turtleneck or Roger. Richard Rankin. Mm-hmm. Bless him. Okay. All right. So E.T. and Chuck. I'm curious Gary with Young, this I one. Mean, strong feelings. Anybody? Does anybody feel like there's a clear cut winner here? Just yell. Jenny. 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 <laughs> anybody else? You know what? I'm doing it. Jenny wins. <laughs> what? We haven't even rolled. It's rigged. It's How rigged. It's all rigged. How about this? How about I, I'm going to roll for Jenny. Okay. And if she gets another critical fail, then... I'm, I'm, no, she's still I'm, wins. I'm, I'm flipping fucking, this fucking, fucking table and walking out <laughs> oh, of here. Oh, look at that. It says 76,000. Oh, great. she wins. <laughs> okay, great. All right, Jenny yeah. from the Lally Bride You know what? If Jen Lander Drunklin shows up at your bar and you don't know she's coming and she yells, Jenny, from you the audience, it. then Jenny wins. <laughs> yeah. Bonus points for that. Okay. All right, here we go. We also like to sometimes <sighs> revel in the things that suck. Okay, remember back in the day when worst <laughs> senior image, we would say things and it would be like, ooh, the whipping, that was terrible. Or, oh, when she punched her in the stomach. That was so bad. This time it's all like, yeah, that sucked. That really sucked. And not in like the, ooh, it was terrible. It's like, oh, that was just a really bad scene. Yeah. Because Although I was... kind of like the first one. The first one is the gratuitous boob lick. You remember that in the Geneva love scene when all of a sudden there's just a totally unnecessary boob lick? And don't get me wrong, it's like kind of hot because it's a boob and he's licking it. Right? But like, why? He's not supposed to be into it. He's not supposed to be. I mean, yeah. Gratuitous boobly makes the list. Okay. All right. And then I named the next one Dance Dance Devolution. And that's when they go back and forth between the two dance scenes because we're too stupid to put it together ourselves. Do you get it? Do you get it? It's that dancing. It's like the other dancing. And it just made us so mad when it was happening that we were disgusted. Our eyes were rolling back in our head. By the way, there are two more, and all three of these final ones were from the finale. I feel like for the newcomers, we should say we really do love this show. We just... I'm like the monster in Pan's Labyrinth right now. We just... We really really hated that finale. We really did. Even that, there are good moments, but oh boy. The next worst scene or image is also, once again, from the finale, Bird and Bunny. Bird and Bunny. Get it? Did you get it? Did you get get it? it? Did you get it? Did you get it? Did you get it? Let me tell you one more time about the bird bird and the the bunny. bunny. Bird is bunny. Bird (laughs) Bird is bunny. Bird is bunny. Oh, it was so bad. And then my last one, I called it the stupid Titanic, which is them on the floating wood. After she had already like been dragged to the very bottom of the ocean and then out of nowhere in the middle of a hurricane You're comes skipping Jamie. a really important detail, which is that she's being dragged to the bottom of the ocean and his time for to monologue twice. Yes, two monologues. Two monologues. Not just one, two. And I'm then dead, Jamie comes out of I'm nowhere. Not, because you're hearing me speak. Oh god. Oh it's and stupid then Jamie. <laughs> Perfectly still water and plenty of light. Light. <laughs> that's when we found out that Jamie is Aquaman. That's, yeah. that's that was a good moment. Weak semen, strong, strong swimmer. swimmer. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay. Gratuitous boobly. Gratuitous boobly. 18. 18. That's fine. I hope Geneva was 18. Mm, I doubt it. Mm-hmm. <sighs> uh, the dancing. 15. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, bird and the bunny. 13. 13. Appropriate. I feel. 20. Plus Thank 20. You. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. A plus. Agreed. Thank you. Hard agree. Um, and then we've got the Titanic. I'll never Stupid let go of Titanic. this Titanic. I'll never I'll let go. I'll never let go. That's five. You know, it doesn't deserve more points. All right. Bird and Bunny. Bird and the Bunny. For the worst. <sighs> Did anybody like the Bird and the Bunny at the end? I liked them through. I just want to make sure that it's not just that we feel superior because we figured it out in moment one. <laughs> No, good. We're all agreed. It's bullshit. Great. Okay. <laughs> okay. And it's bird shit and bunny shit. It's bird shit. And bunny shit. And bunny shit. Little pellets. Pellets. It's pellets. <laughs> it's pellets. pellets. That is pellets. It's total pellets. Okay. <laughs> okay. Burn the bee win. All right. Here Burn we go. Burn the bunny. God damn it. Best lead actor or solid as a rock. This year we have Sam Hewen. This might be the first time he made the list. And you know why? It's only because of that first episode. No, he was good a couple of times. Uh, he's always he's so great good with that the first kids. Episode. Remember how good he is with That's the kids? That's right. That comes back later, oh, too. Yeah. No, he's, he was good. He's really good we with a child very actor. high on Sam for like the first five episodes. Mm-hmm. All right. So Sam made it. Yeah. Katrina Babam made Golden it. Golden Globe nominee. Did yep. you see? That's awesome. That's cool. Good for her. Wish it had been for Faith, which it should have been. But, you know. Um, coin face. Toy. David Barry, David Doi. Barry, um, and then Death Bunny and Prison Bird both make the list. <laughs> well, lead actors. They're really, I mean, they had they such were big featured. parts. They, they were, were highly featured. What about Tobias? Uh, oh, he's coming. Oh. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't worry. He got you. 
Uh, all right. Um, that was, by the way, in case you can hear it on the mic, uh, that the question was, what about Tobias? And to that we say, what about him? <laughs> okay. Here we go. Here we Sam go. Here. Sam. Three. <laughs> oh, it's great. It's the shape of his pecs. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Exactly what I was thinking. It's like right Julia, here. I love you. Boo. All right, uh, Katrina Buffman. 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 Uh, that's five, five plus uh, twenty for all the words or the letters in her last name. Okay. So, <laughs> all right, uh, coin face. Um, what is it? Twelve. Twelve plus um, uh, sixteen hundred plus twenty five for a quarter. No, sixteen hundred, sixteen hundred and tw- or seventeen hundred and twenty five for the year he was minted. Oh. <laughs> That was good. It was a long walk for a coin joke, but, you know, <laughs> worth it. Okay. Next is the death bunny. Oh, look, a zero. I didn't know there was a zero yeah, on this dice. I didn't know this dice even had a zero. And the prison bird. I oh, what a zero. coincidence. That's so weird. What a coincidence. Neil, did you tamper with these dice? <laughs> I'm not have, you, have you been touching my sack? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, coin face. Cool. I agree with that. You know... He was. They were. They were all very good, but he was special. Hey, well, we've and it's had a not lot of, just because I want to gratuitously boob lick him. <laughs> we've had a lot of time I've with Sam and, Kat, <laughs> Sam and Cat, and they're they're both what, doing well. Cat, in specific, I think Always. specifically She's is so doing good. very well. But this season, to get to meet a new character that I know is going to be around for a lot coming up, and is so fucking awesome. I think he deserves it. I hope he gets his own little series. Never going right. to happen, but you never know. Stars is thirsty. Coinlander. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I'll take it. Here we go. All right, most shocking moment. Frank's death. I admit, I was very surprised, even though... Was that a ghost? Child okay. Oh. oh, this is not safe for your yes, ears. Yes, sorry, kid. <laughs> no fucking not your buddy. time. Um, <laughs> Frank's death. Very I was, shocking. I was surprised. I didn't know it was coming. I did know I something did. was about to happen because all the like kind of weird goodbyes on Twitter to Tobias Menes Menes, and I was like, no. And then he died, and I was very upset and surprised. You know, and as someone who's oh, obviously not watching it, I'm. I actually hurt a little bit thinking about him going because it's a sad moment. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so Frank's death. Death then, of jacking. Then we've got um, Fergus's hand getting chopped off by the redcoats. That was very shocking to me. I was not And you know what the best that. part was? It was the little, like the spurt. <laughs> I like the wax hand just falling off the log. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear it go like, <laughs> when it's on the leaves. Gross. Yeah, that's great. Um, then I've got Leary and the red-haired red herring. Yeah. When, Daddy? Daddy? When they burst through the door and she's like, you whore. Yeah, because you know they're committing carnal acts when that happens in the book. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. They're interrupting some like hardcore. P and V? No. Um, um, M and V. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. dun, 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 dun. Nobody I likes to walk means. in on that. Okay. Or do they? Uh, then there's there's Galus's head. No complaints. Yeah, we debated this one and whether it was the the bloodbath or the actual, you know, decapitation. I voted for the decapitation because was it just me or did anybody else think where the hell did that machete come from? Yeah. Yeah. She just keeps it for like, emergencies. Was she just walking around with it and I didn't know? I was in was the it on the PK floor? Why do you think that, that skirt was so that, resilient? That's a long ass pocket. Anyway, I, I was very surprised when it happened because really, truly I didn't know where the machete came from. So I was like, that was very shocking to me. Um, and then this is the one that I think should win on a bullet. And that is giving a novice director the chance to direct a finale of a show. Yeah, he'd never directed anything before, and they gave him the finale of a somewhat, uh, prestige is the wrong word, but like, prestige prestige TV show. That's a lot of money and a lot of firepower (sighs) acting like, Uh, hashtag mustaching. (laughs) Mustaching. I must ask you a question. Why did you let him direct this? Um, I, um, facial hairly no. (laughs) Oh, it was terrible. Nobody, nobody's with me. All right, I take it all back. <laughs> you all need to go home. Okay. All right, roll for Frank's death. Fifteen. 15. All right, and then three for Fergus's hand. Yes, j- the shape of Sam Huon's pecs. Mm-hmm. Um, Leary and the red-headed red herring. That's a four. Mm-hmm. So roughly the age of the tiny child. <laughs> uh, Galus's head. That's 14. a fourteen. And giving a novice director the finale. That's a three. Um, Times. Which looks kind of like a mustache. 
<laughs> like his with his little twirly. Can you just imagine him in the mirror I like just every morning? Yank on it, and that's the only time I've described wanting to yank somebody's hair in this show, and it didn't mean something absolutely filthy. Every day, him and I his wag like it. this, just looking in the mirror, so proud of himself. Uh, oh, Good God. morning, gorgeous. Uh. <laughs> Well, let's go save television. Ew. You know what? I don't think that three is enough for that one. No. Does everybody think that that's actually the I most shocking moment? I don't think he deserves a win, even if it's a bad win. Okay. <laughs> Fair. I think he gets negative three. Well, then that... And then it's rolling lowest. There we go. Winner. Frank's death? N- no. Negative three wins. Oh, giving a novice director. Okay. You're I'm right. very salty about this. We are, we're actually like salty. The ocean water. I was going to say, just like the water the boat like was the in sea. for 10 years. Our next acting category is a new one for us. Um, coined because you all liked the phrase so much, according to like Twitter and Slack and the internet in general. Um, this is Tim Gunn in it. Making it work. Who Tim Gunned it the most? Um, the human turtleneck, Tim Gunning it forever oh, and always. Yeah, like, just... I just, think he might just win. I'm so invested in this love story that he's conducting with a person who's an actor half the time and a mannequin the other half. <laughs> yeah. It's like true. Really, but like she just, she wears clothes really beautifully. She has that gorgeous hair. Shh. It's a wig? Shh. It's is a wig. It, is it a wig? Yeah. Um, <laughs> and she really, I don't want to be too mean to Sophie Skelton. She had some good moments this season. Better Way than last better, season. Yeah. She yes. had some good moments. No, uh, Richard, we don't agree. <laughs> Did, who's team Sophie? Anybody? I really want to know if there are team Sophie people out there. Totally, yes. I agree. Sarah says she does better than last better season. Better than last I season, agree. but still not anywhere in Richard Rankin's league. Yeah. Like, they are in completely different pools. Yeah. Like, it's, but he does so well. It's like when you see a movie and you know, oh my God, it's like um, uh, Emma Watson in that Terrible Beauty and the Beast remake. Did anybody see that? Oh, yeah. Where I, Dan Stevens is a very good actor, don't get me wrong, but you watch the video of her dancing with him when he's got the like spots all over his face and he's on weird shoes. And he's just And she's just like falling in love looking at this ludicrous face. <laughs> <laughs> That's gunning it. She was really gunning she it. She was making it work. Okay. All right. Then we also have Lottie Verbeek as gayless this season because they gave her a lot of really batshit crazy things to do and not a lot of um, Plus that wig. backup explanation as to why she would behave in this manner. And so that kind of pissed us off a little bit because she's such a, she obviously she's in this category because she still made it work. Yeah, like, I mean like that's not even close to the same level as I'm going to a fucking barbecue. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that's, that's what this woman can do. Scotland, Scotland. <laughs> and then she's like, well, here, just get out of this bath. I'm not gonna lie. I love that scene. Never uh, mind. It was no, she was she really made it work. good. She made all of it work. She made it work. It just was so thin. It just felt thin for her. And like, uh, I don't know. The w- Unlike that blood, which was viscous. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> her story arc just didn't feel it wasn't satisfying to me for the as much as I had invested in that character from the beginning. That's how yeah, I felt. That's fair. Um, but she did so well, so she made it work. And then we got Katrina Baba 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 because she has to make it work the whole time forever. You know, but specifically, let's let's call out two things. Let's call out the trefining. <laughs> right? Make she the sound. That what, how did the sound go? <laughs> I don't know. I don't remember making that sound, but that works for you me. Wait, hold on. What's the sound from last week? Uh, boy, yeah, that's, the <laughs> sound. that's the trefining sound. Uh, and then the other one. I mean, survival Barbie in general, but like specifically talking to that goddamn coconut. Yeah, she did do that. That was she, really solid. That was like a really good chat. Yeah. You know what? That coconut, great work. Yeah, the coconut. The coconut almost made the Tim Gunning at <laughs> it list. It really did. We thought about the coconut for the one and dunning too. Yeah, we almost yeah. we almost put Coco on the one and done or hit yeah. it and quit it. Yeah. Um, and then we've got Sam plus any kid, but they have to be together. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, he had some good moments. I mean, when he was laying there wishing he was dead. Episode one, it was the best he's ever been in the series. You know what? He would have been a shoe in for this. He would have been the n- undisputed victor if he had made that wig work. But Nobody could. Nobody Lawrence could. Olivier could not make that wig work. <laughs> he made a lot of wigs work. Ugh. No. You know what? He you did. know, RuPaul couldn't have made that wig work. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> that wig is garbage. Yes. <laughs> All right. So here we go The Human Turtleneck. You got a roll for me? Oh, yeah. Um, three. Psh, not enough. Yeah, we're gonna do. We're um, gonna come back on that. We're gonna do plus one for every beard hair. Oh my god, plus six thousand. So six thousand and three. <laughs> I think that's a conservative, but I but I'm, it is I'm very bushy. That. <laughs> that's oh, sixteen. 16. I'm fine. It's pretty with that. good. Uh, Claire gets an eight. Mm. It's the infinity sign. I'm fine with that. Mm-hmm. And Sam plus any kid, seven. Seven. That, that's very appropriate. 
Yeah. That she's one point ahead of him. Yes. <laughs> Oh, that was some good shade. <laughs> Just saying it's appropriate. That, that was some shady so, shade. So um, if we really do add our extra bonus points, it's the human turtleneck. I mean, he, well, he gets it. He does. Like, well, he, and he's going to have to do that for, uh, he's going to have to Tim gun it a oh, lot. He's not going to have that. Pro- Remember that scene where she's fixing the car and he's like, I'm so amazed that you know how to fix a car. And Sophie Skelton is like, yeah, I learned. And then she goes back to having a British accent. Right? Like he, he had a, he had a different a adoring take for every one of the 12 different accents she did this season. <laughs> <laughs> and she was only in like four episodes. It was it was really a feat of something. Yeah. Something. Oh god, next is my favorite category. Okay, here here comes both of our favorite ca- favorite categories. Sickest burn. <laughs> this, this is a, I love this, this one. This one will also call always and forever those coats. Yeah. The single sickest burn in the history of sick burn. <laughs> Again, in honor take a of seat, Duke RuPaul. of Sin. Yeah. Get out. Duke those of Sandringham is coming in purse first. Hashtag those coats. All right, here we go. First one. I think our bedroom is far too crowded already. Yeah. Frank. I think it's too crowded too. It's burn. Yeah. You're going to need some ointment for that burn. <laughs> All right. Next is I didn't realize that lies had shades. Daddy. Yeah, but you know what has shade? <laughs> that. That's sick burn. <laughs> that statement. That's sick burn. That oh, was shady as You hell. just don't expect him to be shady because he's so like him and his one leg they're very <laughs> upright like they're very <laughs> he's very good and then but he's been married to jenny for so long some of that had to rub off you know what i'm saying well but i think he's like the grown-up and maybe it's because she wasn't there maybe yeah and maybe. he had to like i wonder if if he had anything to do with the like the slight tweaks to Ian this season where he's mm. just a little bit saltier and he's just letting his Twitter persona affect just letting his salt come out. You gotta I'm follow into this it. dude. You gotta Let's call him Stephen daddy. Stephen McCree, is that a name? I think it's just Stephen Cree. Cree, Stephen yeah. Cree. Yeah. Uh, he, uh, you gotta follow him. He's on having a really good time with people who don't like the fact that his Twitter account is his personal Twitter account and he can say whatever the fuck he wants. And uh, there are Outlander fans who don't like what he has to say about the world. <laughs> yeah, and he doesn't do. he doesn't give a fuck. We we like when Yeah. Anyway, Patty. Anyway, Patty. Um here we go. Where'd she get the red hair? Oh, not Scottish. Oh, where'd she get the red hair? No, Boston. Where'd she get the red hair? <laughs> no, Boston. <laughs> oh, where'd she get the red hair? There we go. <laughs> Thank you, John Sophie Skelton. <laughs> I didn't know that that was going to be a bit. And then it was a bit. <laughs> it was a bit. Um, that, that one gets extra points for being an unintentionally sick burn. Yeah, that was unintentional, but... Yeah. Oh, <laughs> no. Did I touch a nerve? Mm. Everybody in the room goes, oh, God. Oh, God. Another single tear goes into that crevice. One, that one crevice, <laughs> that vertical weird crevice God, that, that I just want to lick. Yeah. Like, all right. I want to lick the salty tears oh, out what of is it. That? There's a lot of licking in this episode. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> um, then I'm going to let Allison take this one because it's, okay. her, it's her favorite. <clears throat> um, Lieutenant Leonard. <laughs> Lieutenant. Tenet, Lennon. It's Tenet, Lennon, Lennon. That's coin face. Commander, uh, Captain, uh, what was your rank? Sorry, I already forgot your name. Bye. <laughs> and then, um, That's too so small good. for that cow. Mama yes, Sita. Mama Sita. Oh, Mama Sita was good. That was a good oh, burn. Yeah. Um, all right. You are fat. Love, Mama Sita. <laughs> you are okay. fat. Please leave. All right, okay. here we go. Our bedroom is far too crowded. Mm hmm. That's a Set. four. Oh, it's four. Psh, that should fine. be a three. But. Oh, well, because it's uh, it's two points for each of their twin beds. Oh. <laughs> okay. When that happened, when the camera pulled up and there were twin beds, Neil's like, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> he knows from personal experience? Uh, no, that was only when when we're sick it's or he, when he was snoring. Home. This summer home. That's our front bedroom. <laughs> okay. that we into I didn't summer. realize that lies had shades. Hmm. Daddy. Nine. That's a nine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, where'd you get the red hair? <laughs> three. Three. Mm, that seems low. Well, it's the pecs. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. God, I think they're gross. Left. Ten. 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 Fourteen. Fourteen. Mm-hmm. I think we're going to have to let this one go honest. Do some more that cow. Nice catch. <laughs> Four. Four. Oh yes, all left, right. left, 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 left. <laughs> for the win. Queen uh, face was know, extra shady all season. But in the army, we earn our positions. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, not left. true. They would buy their commissions. It's of like it's a strange sick burn, but sick nonetheless. Lieutenant, let it. I just like the way you said it too. Yes. All right, here we go. Best episode of season three. We have freedom and whiskey. 
Oh, sorry. No, the battle joined, which was episode one, which is the one of Sam lying silently and then begging for death most of the time. Uh, Also known as the one where we only needed to see the bunny that one time. Just once. (laughs) Just that one bunny. Just the one time. Yeah. And it was enough for us to know that the rabbit meant something. Yeah. And so, you know, you really didn't have to like. And there's that gorgeous shot of her strolling through the corpses. Tip. Toe through the corpses, corpses. in your nightgown <laughs> for some reason. It's great. Here's a rabbit. Here's a prison bird. <laughs> All right. But so, that's also the shop for the house. And is that the one where she cooks on the. Yes. St- yeah, yes. That's great. Where she cooks and on then, the open oh flame. God. And then that scene at the end where she gives birth and fr- and they have this kissy, lovey moment and the salty tear tracks and Tobias Ben's just fucking killing it. That's just. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's good. All right. Um, the next uh, entrant here is Freedom and Whiskey. That's the one where they go back. Nancy, that's the Nancy Drew episode. That's yeah. where they're figuring out where they can find uh, Jamie. Where they're like, I think I don't know. I don't know. Paper, paper. I found him. Uh, <laughs> oh, I didn't come here because I'm desperately in love with you. I came because I wanted a Boston cream pie and a lobster roll. <laughs> right. <That one. laughs> and then it's this is the one at the end where she travels back. Well, th- and this is also, what, what, what can I do? What can, what I, can do? I do? What can I do? <laughs> I know. So I know. He is so warm. Also, great costuming in that one. That's where mm-hmm. she wears the red and the the white pattern tights. She's talking about architecture, and you're like, "All right, I can be down with this, Brianna." Yeah, Just, I could be down with this. I keep wearing those clothes so nicely. Yes, please do. <laughs> that beautiful hair. God, I'm a bitch. All right. <laughs> um, then we've got a Malcolm. Oh, kind the important of, thing. Uh, also, the important thing about Freedom and Whiskey is that is, <gasps> boom, Red head hits the print and press, and then he dies, and that's the end of the series. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> game over. Game over. <laughs> Okay, so then we have a Malcolm, mostly because Boner City, Boner City, uh, mostly in my opinion because of Jordy. Yeah, Jordy, <laughs> Jordan, Jor- so Jordy and his goiter. Of all the things I thought they would make sure to keep from the book, I didn't think Jordy was going to be the one. <laughs> but not only did they keep him, they gave him a giant goiter. <laughs> <laughs> they made his part bigger. Whose name is Cal? That's Cal. Cal the goiter. Yes. I'm sorry, it killed me. <laughs> okay, okay. Woo. Moving on. Okay. Okay, and then, and also the doing it. Whatever. Yeah, we'll have to doing it. It's and good doing it. And then we've got First Wife, which is the episode where Leary reappears and finds out and shoots him and all that. We get, we're treated to the, uh, a little bit of sassy Jenny from the oh, Lally Brock in that one. setting Jenny where they, and they have that conversation where you just want to be like, tell her about Brianna. Just tell her about Brianna. Mm-hmm. And then Claire's like, nope. Nope. But don't like, worry, I'll Ugh. tell total strangers about Brianna later. That's fine. <laughs> but cool. I'm not going to tell. But I'm not going to tell my you. sister-in-law. Ugh. Okay. Yeah. All right. Here, oh, and um, I, I made a little note to myself here after I wrote these all out. Note, only one of these is from the second half of the season. Fuck a boat. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck a boat. Fuck we a boat. We are apparently extremely weak semen. Yeah, I just told Because we got seasick. I just... <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> We're gotta done. Go, I gotta go sorry, below this decks. Is, this is over. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So, free. To, um, sorry. I don't think you need to go below decks. I think you're a real upper deck. <laughs> <laughs> Boom jokes. Yeah. That was for Kevin Lambert. Oh, I love it whenever Upper Decker gets worked into conversation. It's so good. The English language is such a beautiful thing. <laughs> Somebody thought about it. I haven't seen her laugh this hard since they were taking the pot. No, no. We laughed this hard. I cracked myself up with the fucking m and M's I was like three weeks ago. <laughs> Okay. Okay. <laughs> All this for a turd in a toilet bowl. Are, I'm running on like three hours sleep. All right. Are you oh, ready to roll? Gosh. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay. Right. Freedom ba- and whiskey. No, oh, no. battle joint battle was joined. first. Sixteen. Uh, Sixteen. Mm-hmm. Um, plus one point each for the bird and the bunny because the only time we needed to see them. Exactly. Freedom and whiskey. Oh, freedom and whiskey. <sighs> The gang asks six together. Six. Uh, I feel like that's low, but it's fine. A Malcolm. Three. Three. That should probably be like plus 12 for the 12 extra minutes. Yeah. Of the straight extra boning. long boning. Yes. Okay. And then the, I'm, I'm hungry, but not to eat. And then we all stood up like there was a touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I laughed so hard. I'm coughing. All right. First wife. Twelve. Uh, Twelve. 
plus one point because second wife. All right, so A. Malcolm wins or the battle joined. I, th- I, th- I that, think it's the battle joint. It's the battle joint. All right, battle joint. Very ambitious, because you know what? I mean, set a quick I like that episode. It's good. It's I like very that moving. episode. It's a very moving episode. All right, and then we have a special, <laughs> special um, award this time around to be given the Lifetime Achievement Award. And we have four nominees. Tobias Menzies' jaw, Tobias Menzies' forehead, that steely look Tobias Menzies gets in his eye, and the ass we never get to see because he wears those jackets. Ugh. Tobias Menzies wins Lifetime Achievement, which means he automatically gets put into our season TGP role. we told you we had you. He's good. He's special. So He's special. let's go back here. One and done was oh. Rupert. All right. So we've got Rupert. We're going to have to put this one up to a vote, too. I want to know what people think. Rupert. Do, do, Best do, do, actor do. was the, was Coinface. Best face. supporting is Jenny. Jenny. Great. From the mm-hmm. Lally Brock. And lead is Coinface. Coinface. And then. So. Sam Pimpa. Oh, and Gun in It. Oh, yeah. Gun in It is R- Richard. Turtleneck. Right? Her yeah. human turtleneck. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, so let's just. Uh, we'll do um, loud noises because it's because it's the microphone. <clears throat> right. It's better than raising hands because you can't hear those. Wait, how about this? Everybody raise your hands as loudly as possible. <laughs> okay. All right. Who votes for Grant O'Rourke? Rupert. Oh, shut out. Oh, we've got a clap. There's, got there's a kind clap. of a quiet clap, but it's not very enthusiastic. Okay. So it's, He's dead. He's dead anyway. You're dead to me, Rupert. Okay. Uh, Jenny. Oh, yeah. We got some love. I, by the way, I don't know how I didn't realize that raising your hand as loudly as you can is applause. <laughs> <laughs> you just raise them together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Um, next would be our, our uh, gentleman of the tight profile, Coinface. Any Coinface supporters? Yeah, that's, that's more love. That's about even, I that's think. That's about even. We're for still going to roll. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, okay. It's about even. All right. Um, uh, next is the the human turtleneck, Mr. Richard Rankin. He of the beautiful beard. We've got okay. He's we've got another Rupert on Not our hands. For beards, for beards, yeah, for, for, beards, beards, for beards, for beards. For beards. <laughs> Great. And last, Tobias Menzies. Men- no, we promised we would never mispronounce his name oh, again. Oh, that's right. Tobias, Tobias Menzies. Menzies. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that warms my heart. We're not rolling for this. No, show. he Listen wins. To that. He wins. He wins. He should win. He is our season he, Golden Pample Moose, and he was in three episodes. He represents excellence, which this season was lacking after his Simply death. the best. Boom, 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 boom. I'm down with that. All right. You know, I think we that's ha- it, man. We have time to discuss our overall thoughts. Okay. And maybe we can take questions too. But real quick, let's just. We you've had a week. Mm-hmm. You were. We revisited some positive things. Mm-mm. What are <laughs> okay? What are your What are your thoughts on the season overall? I wish it hadn't left such a shitty taste in my mouth at the end. It was. It this season it up was a real me. Upper- <laughs> <laughs> the season came to my house for dinner. We had a lovely time. This season left my house, and two days later, I was like, "Why does it fucking stink in here?" <laughs> Went to my bathroom, and there was a fresh one in my toilet tank. The season up and me. Question: Why the hell weren't you in your bathroom for two days? You don't know my life. <laughs> <laughs> You're a real Valencia Pettis. <laughs> this is my movement, big old stinking movement. Oh no. <laughs> I've got I, Katie here. Yeah. yeah. Okay, good. I good. really I really liked the first part of this season and I was very enthusiastic about it. And it, I don't know if it's just that I don't like hijinks on the high seas or what, but once I got on the boat, I was like, I, I don't believe this anymore. I mean, there were some really good moments. There were still some good boat moments. Well, some ET and Joe's monologue moments. to me was the height of yeah. the boat. Well, also, but Katrina Buff and I'm sewing through a Doomface's nose. Mm. That was really good. Poor old dead Doomface. Oh, Doomface oh, with his rabbit's face. foot. Get it? Rabbit. Bunny. Rabbit. Death. Get it? I don't, actually. One more time. The rabbit shows up when things die. Or it represents life and death. A boundary. <laughs> We thought we had a couple of really sad feelings about poor old Margaret Campbell because she was so good in her first episode, and then they were just like, "Here, take all this garbage. You take this garbage." And you know what she couldn't do? She couldn't gun she it. She couldn't gun it. She did not make the gun it in was, it list. And I'm not sure that's her fault. I think no. it was impossible to gun. It, it was. was under the gun. <laughs> oh man, guys, it's early. <laughs> 
Um, so I, what about you? I feel similarly. I, it was really good to revisit because God, there were some really good. I mean, there were moments in this season that I think are among the best. Right, that scene when they're His in the fake. hospital and Claire and Frank are reconnecting and they're all weepy and Brianna's a baby is great. It's a great scene. Coin face offering his body is a that's a great, great scene. Mm-hmm. There are just like the highs are really high, and then the lows are just long. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Jen Lander coming and through. Yet, too thin. Long and too thin. It's like if a it's like if a penis were a piece of spaghetti pasta. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's just a tapeworm. It's a tapeworm. Oh. Good morning. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Rethinking oh, no. that biscuit. <laughs> I'm not. No. Um, I, yeah, I just it was it. It uh, disappointed here's the thing. me. I'm, I'm not if mad. They, I'm just disappointed. If they wanted to squeeze the entire book into one season, they needed to make more hard choices. Like you know what we could have done without. And as much as I liked it, we really could have done without it. We could have done without an entire episode of foreplay. And I like all the four, but it was like, they were like, Ooh, great wedding 2.0. Let's forget all the things that worked about the wedding and focus on basically just the boning. And that's not to say, cause I, that episode was in our best list. And mm-hmm. I think it is really good. And there are some great moments. And that scene when they're in the print shop, is just gorgeous. And Jordy comes in and they're both crying and like, it's really great. But it's just what made the wedding good is it was two people getting to know each other and they were terrified and they were being kind and they were being understanding and like it was just and then it was legitimately really hot. Mm -hmm. Um, And I just feel like that's a pretty good example of what didn't work about the season. They focused on the wrong things except for E.T. and Joe, which they totally fixed. Mm -hmm. Like that was way better than the book. But Mm -hmm. they just focused on the wrong things. Now, this book is longer than the first two books right yes okay and um i spoke about this a little bit with dude lander kevin last night kevin lambert and are they stuck with this idea of every season being a book probably book? it's that too bad it doesn't seem there's right. one coming up i'm really looking forward to and guys it's 11 a.m i'm on like three hours sleep and i've been drinking for most of the time i've been awake um that's not true <laughs> i've been working since 6 a.m but i've been drinking <laughs> since 11 um <clears throat> book readers which book is it where it's like four days where there is the gathering day and then there's a day at the Ridge and then there's the day when, um, um, with the wedding, uh, God, I'm so tired. And then I forget the last day. Do you remember which one? It's like five. Yeah. So that one will be interesting to see them adapt because the entire point of that book is it's focusing in really hard on relationships. And it's only four days. The whole book, it takes it's place a, over four days a sort or, of. or a short period of time. Yeah. It's unlike, a hyper like, focused. Unlike, you know, we're sailing the seven seas. And- yes. There's no more. Um, let's spend 600 pages crossing an ocean. Mm-hmm. That's not true. Actually, there is, that is going to happen again. But <laughs> Um, but we'll be jumping around more. Okay. Um, the we're in America, mostly in America for, from here on out. Okay. I mean, who knows what happens in the books to come, but so far mm-hmm. we're like we're heading straight into the revolutionary war. I'm really into looking forward to fucking seeing in some strawberry fields forever. If forever. I'm yeah. really looking forward to seeing Murtaugh again. I'm <sighs> glad they didn't kill him in the show. I know he's dead in the books, but he is dead in the books and it's sad, mm-hmm. but I think sometimes if you've got like, if you're like, man, I really looked out with this actor nobody's heard of. I gotta lock that shit down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I gotta give him a promise they liked ring. it. So they yeah. put a ring on it. They did exactly. put a ring on that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I don't know. I just, I just felt kind of let down at the are end. Are we alone in this? We're, raise your hand if you were kind of disappointed. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Was anybody not disappointed? And please, no shade. We're not being assholes it's not, about I it. Really, if you really enjoyed it, I really want to know, like, I would love some positive spin. Because I, w- wa- I mean, we watch the show. I would be probably be watching the show professionally no matter what. But we watch the show because it's our special lady program. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we really, we're predisposed mm-hmm. to like it and to be pretty forgiving. And it just, let I feel like it let me down. I, I really do think it was that finale, though. It's because it ended oh, yeah. that way. I mean, it was a... It was a it's really interesting to also full to us on, <laughs> online about how a lot of Outlander fandom is always positive. And sometimes the show is great, and sometimes it's not great. But you know what the weird thing is? There's another segment of the fandom that's extremely negative if things deviate from the books right. at all. Mm-hmm. And if this season teaches anybody anything, it should be 
man, if you stick too faithfully to the books, and it's a good book. I really like the book. I think Voyager is like really good. It's a really entertaining read. It is sometimes like, <laughs> oh God, it's kind of rape, like yeah. racist. But like, it's good. It's entertaining. And then this was like, oh yeah, no, I mean, this is what happens in the book. Crammed into 13 you hours. You know that first Harry Potter movie? How it's like, Everything is so literal, and it says in the book that the staircases move. So Chris Columbus thought, I know what I'll do. I'll have staircases move. As opposed to, like, they all of a sudden they go somewhere else. They disappear, and you're on a staircase, and all of a sudden you're somewhere. It's not magical. It's, like, literally it's, like, goes, and the stairs move. <laughs> that's, like, that's what happens if you stick too literally to what it says in a book. You have mm-hmm. to bring your own imagination to it. And I think that's what they did with Gary Young. I think that there are some, they cut some good things. Um, they made Marsley part. Does anybody have a Marsley nickname for us yet? We really can't. We really hate Marsley. Sounds like or rhymes with parsley. We hate it, and we want something better. But we just you we're tapped that, out, you guys. You know the producers call her Marsley Parsley. Yes. Do they really? Yes. No. That's why I hate it because I don't want to Daphne us, yeah. and also because it's not very funny. <laughs> yeah, it's not funny. Maybe we should just call her Daphne. <laughs> <laughs> She's the one on the internet stealing our jokes. <laughs> it's, it's, did you see that she tweeted that her dog was drinking her beer? She turned around and her dog was on the table drinking out of her beer glass. Good dog. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good boy. Good. Hey, this would be a good time to say good we are, just as a reminder, we are Empirical Brewery. Thanks, we Empirical. The, we are all collectively exploring, exploring the science of beer. Cheers, Thank you for everybody. being here with us. Uh, I'm drinking the Nitro of the Cold Fusion Cream Ale. Me too. I oh, love it. It is so good. Mm-hmm. Um, and there are a bunch of other great things on tap here. Um, uh, if you come out to Chicago, we will meet you here and we will drink an ill-advised amount Not of, of beer. alcohol. Mm-hmm. And then maybe, if you're Amanda <laughs> Newton, drag you to the Oasis in Rogers Park mm-hmm. and then to a movie that you will barely remember. <laughs> <laughs> that really happened. Um, yeah, I just, I'm I'm optimistic about season four, um, but cautiously so. Cause did y'all see Ron Moore sold another TV show? But they said there was already like stuff saying, no, no, he'll still, he's still going to run out later. Well, first of all, of course he is. Mm -hmm. Like, of course they're going to say that. It's not to say that he's not still going to be involved because obviously he is, but he was not as involved this season Mm -hmm. and you can tell. Did you Mm -hmm. hear in the, in the, like the last of the last blast, he said to those guys, how many ships did you guys have down there? Oh. That that to me was, because the ship was a big thing. Yeah. Yeah. So So Jenlander Drunklin just said, (laughs) Okay. That in the in the after show in the finale, he said, "How many ships did you have down there?" Because he was obviously not in South Africa when that was filmed. And that's a mm-hmm. big light item. Like he would definitely know if he was involved. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. Right. Which I mean, and he's I'm sure he's hiring the writers. I'm sure he's in on the casting, like big, big edit. stuff. Yeah, and and he's great at television. He is. Um, I mean, most of Battlestar is really great. Mm-hmm. Most of it. Most of it. Because then it gets to a certain point where I'm just like, I'm done. And I hope that doesn't happen to me with Outlander. It's not going to because, you know, we do this. <sighs> okay. <laughs> You're um, obligated. So it is exactly new now, so we have to end. But real quick, does anybody have questions, thoughts they want to share? Anybody? Yeah. Who are you looking forward to seeing in season four the most? Oh, from the books? Yeah. Um, in the books, Duncan Innes. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm excited about. Um, oh, what is his name? Oh yeah, Rollo. Yeah, there's a dog coming. <gasps> <gasps> He's such a good boy. Yes. <laughs> no, I was thinking about. Oh God, Julie, you'll forget this. You've been drinking. Mm-hmm. Um, the surgery on the table at the dinner. What's his oh. name? The bit oh, like the yes. big man John. That's always yeah, how I think of him. Hernia. Yeah, hernia guy. I'm yeah. very excited. I'm excited about hernia guy. <laughs> he's a, well, he's a good character. He's legitimately a really good character. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm excited about that. Uh, I'm really excited about Jocasta and the um, Maria Doyle Kennedy, who's playing Jocasta, is so good. Ooh, am I spoiling for you? Do you don't you don't know who Jocasta is? Don't worry about it. Jocasta. Oh, no. She's Jocasta. She's played by a great actress. We're not spoiling anything for you. Orphan Black, anybody? Orphan Black, yeah. yeah. Also Downton Abbey, she was great on Downton Abbey. She was um, 
what's his face? I'm so sad. I'm so sad. I'm married to a beautiful woman. I'm Matthew. so sad. Bates. No, Matthew too. Oh, oh, Bates. the ex-wife. The terrifying ex-wife. That's Miranda. Oh Kennedy. my God, she made such an impact in that episode. She was so good. I know she's great. All right, that's exciting. Yeah. Um, and then Rollo. Do you remember I'm very that Neil? About Rollo. We were like, who is that bitch? Rollo is important <laughs> enough that they did I'm a casting scared. announcement when they cast that dog. They for did real, a, there a was casting a dog for a dog casting announcement. That's like, <laughs> That's, that's just the way life should be, though. Yes. That sounds bigger than Wishbone. <laughs> What's the story, Wishbone? <laughs> I got in trouble with some people on the internet because in a review of Timeless, that's a time travel show yeah. with a lot less fucking. Yeah. Um, in a review of Timeless, I said it was like it was like doc, if Doctor Who was Wishbone. <laughs> <laughs> and people got really mad about it. Anyway. <laughs> Somebody's mad at me about Designated Survivor now, too. Someone is so invested in Designated Ugh. Survivor that I gave it a C plus, which is average. And they were like, what the fuck? You, who, who, who made this person a writer? <laughs> <laughs> the same person who taught me how to use quotation, quotation marks. marks. <laughs> anyway, other questions? Everybody's going to stay and hang out for at least a minute, right? Yeah? We need to put faces with names, because some of you, it's like... I, we just need to. We just need to know. We're in overload mode. We're <laughs> I know. So excited. It's yeah. Really awesome. Um, so this is when we. Oh, I don't have the Patreon shit up. Um, start our regular stuff so I can pull up our Patreon shit. Okay. So if you want to check us out on Facebook, it's Podlander Drunk cast at facebook.com no <laughs> see I don't know this shit I never do this shit <laughs> facebook.com slash podlandercast you can you. find us on twitter at podlandercast <laughs> see I don't do this part you can find us <laughs> off Julie's butt and shut the fuck up Julie um, you can find you can invite on... Julie over to upper deck you <laughs> yes you can and she will mm-hmm. trust me I've noticed I just did um, you can find us on patreon at patreon.com slash podlanderdrunkcast <laughs> and there are all kinds of rewards and we're making t-shirts and we're doing this and we're doing that but honestly the best we're like please for the love of god uh, i like all i want to do is just make it free for everybody but Mm -hmm. like we've already established that you have to do it for money so Mm -hmm. please if you if you have any um oh i don't know cash to spare in your life and you want to support the show and help us to travel because that's our big goal right now is to travel um you can go to patreon.com slash podlanderdrunkcast and then join our slack Slack channel. channel who's in the slack channel Oh my God! Yes, yeah, there yes, we go. One, yes, two, I know three. Katie is. Cool. It is so much fun. People are just a hoot. Um, somebody made a, a little emoji of dick rocks. We have a dick rock emoji. Somebody made a gif oh, of yeah, the death geez, bunny and a bird, and oh then gosh. over and over again with the words "We get it" flashing on the bottom. <laughs> yeah, that's great. It was really there's awesome. A, there's another emoji Thank that's just a can of pebble mousse lacroix. <laughs> It's so good. Anyway, we also need to thank all of our patrons, but especially J- if you happen to be here, would you just yell when I say your name, please? Okay. Yes, yes. you're about to yell. Jenna Pulkowski, Dr. J, Lori McGuire, Yvonne Kaiser, Anne Gavin, Katie Kirshner, yeah, Amanda Newton, Beth Locke. Ida with an I. She's not because she's in fucking Europe. Yes, hi, she's, Ida. She's, she's been commenting alive. on yeah. Facebook. Ida. Hi, Ida. What um, up, Ida? Kelly Sheehan, Jessica Dobrovich, Aaron Yitzi, Molly Layton, a tiny child. <laughs> not Molly Layton. There isn't an actual tiny child here. Make it really cute sounds. And now all of a sudden I'm very self conscious about my swearing. Um, Molly Layton, Heather Moore, Ruth McCormick, that traitor. <laughs> oh, God. Just kidding. Trish McCrary. Kara Marlowe, Catherine Galindo, Kiki the Wise, my favorite. Flourish Root, Friday Payton, Jen Lander Drunklin, yeah, yeah, yeah. yay! <laughs> Kathleen Moniz, Kathleen, are you here? Kathleen, Kathleen, Kathleen? Jen, mom? you want to do it? Hi, mom. There we go. I want you to know that Jen yelled, hi, mom, but only after Katie did. (laughs) Uh, Tina Carlone, uh, Matt, you know what? I just went into the fives. Whoops, I'm doing it anyway. Tina Carlone, Malin, Kate Gibson. Laura Hamilton, Rachel Patterson, Heather Johnson, Ashley, Linda, Jude Morrissey, Carrie Bowers, Ann Gibson, Who Ann Crow, Kristen people? Flannery, LM, Sarah Russell, yeah, Yay! Anna Pereira, Mary Frances Bannard, Tori Bryan, <laughs> yeah, Meredith Ottery, Sean Barrett, Je- uh, Sean, Jennifer Greb, Becca Stamp, Jill Cardinal, Laura Dixon, I Amanda Early, Keenan Caldwell, D. Crawford, Jennifer Moniz, <laughs> Savannah, <laughs> Kelly Bodden, Rose Cardiel, Elizabeth Young, T- Tanya Royston, yeah, cool, Tanya Royston, Molly Bennett, Scotty Caldwell, Hel- Helena, Helena, did she tell us? Helena. Helena. Oh, God. Laura Feldman. Oh, she, she was so awesome. And now she I just awesome. maybe mispronounced no, her name. It's cool. Well, I just, I'm very Shakespeare focused. Walter Monty. <laughs> 
Mirtha Soto, Latoya Jackson. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that real? <laughs> At yahoo.com. Um, Mary Harrison, Alana Myers, Alana the breastfeeding mom, bless her. <laughs> Jenny Graves, SGB, Monique Arenas, Anna Christina Newt's daughter, Emily Ross. I think it, it says M E. I think there's just an I'm L. I'm still stuck on the Jackson. I'm sorry. <laughs> Aaron Krieger, Liz Tart, Claire White, and Molly Mullen. Uh, thank you all so 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 much. It's so incredible. Oh. We just started doing this kind of for fun, and we re- didn't really know that um, there would be so many awesome people that listen to it. So it's thank you all amazing. so much. Um, mm-hmm. We are gonna do something next week. I can't remember what we decided on. Is it Dude Lander? No, uh, Dude Lander is Dude we're recording Dude Lander on weeks. New Year's Eve. That's how much we love you people. Mm-hmm. We're recording Dude Lander on New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve day, technically. <laughs> Kevin it's already great because Kevin is gonna be asleep <laughs> by ten thirty p.m. Yep. It's gonna be toasty or not. Um, and then we're gonna start talking about other things. We're gonna talk about other things relating to Outlander. We might like collectively decide to all watch a show together if y'all want to we'll like vote on what we could watch and then do that a couple of times a month we'll decide but we're still gonna there's no Dratlander from us again you got a Dratlander from us last summer no more we're gonna keep putting out content and um, swearing in your headphones we will always have something for an anyway patty so <laughs> oh yeah that's true <laughs> I've got three of those in my inbox right now nice yeah I'm gonna upload that shit mm-hmm. um, and with that I think I'm just gonna say butthole one time <laughs> And butthole, butthole. <laughs> and um, and then I'm gonna um, I don't know make like a <laughs> noise. <laughs> Boy, <I'm>... Wait, <laughs> womp womp. Okay, now we're just making uh, mouth sounds. Yeah, <laughs> and with that, we're gonna say goodbye and we're gonna drink some beer with these incredible people. Everybody, cheer! Yay! Thank you all so much. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Uh, bye. Bye. bye.